Welcome to our channel. Ina Shrubsole. England will believe they can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Australia. Anya Shrubsoul says that England's victories in the white ball leg of last year's Ashes will have proved to the players that they are capable of ending Australia's stranglehold on the Women's T20 World Cup. Shrubsoul, 32, was England's match winner at Lords in 2017, famously claiming figures of 6 for 46 to defeat India by 9 runs in a thrilling final and claimed the 50-over World Cup as their most recent global title. Since then, Heather Knight's team has reached the last four on four separate occasions across the 20 and 50 over World Cups, including two finals in 2018 and 2022. However, Australia have lifted the trophy on each occasion, most recently in South Africa in February 2023, where they claimed their sixth T20 title in seven stagings since 2010. The Aussies remain the strong favorites for this year's event in the UAE, having marched through to the semi-finals in an unbeaten start to their campaign. However, England are also flying high on the other side of the draw and will remain on course to meet Australia in the final if they can avoid defeat to West Indies in their final group match on Tuesday. England are pretty well-placed, Shrub Soul told ESPN Chris Info. Australia just have that belief that they're going to win and more often than not they do. But I sense from this group, they really do believe that they can beat Australia. And I would argue, at times previously, that out-and-out out belief maybe wasn't there. I think that Ashes last summer gives them a huge amount of confidence. That remarkable series in June and July 2023 ended as an 8-8 draw, with Australia's victory in the one-off test at Trent Bridge meaning that England went into the white ball leg of the series, realistically needing at least five victories in the six matches to reclaim the Ashes. In the end, they came agonizingly close, landing two to one wins in both the T20I and ODI series, which still amounted to Australia's first losses in a white ball bilateral series since 2017-18. It's one thing doing it in a bilateral series, compared to doing it in a World Cup final. And that's one of the things that Australia have in their favor, Shrubsoul said. But that Ashes' performance showed that, if England put them under pressure and play really good cricket, they can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. England's first three matches of the ongoing T20 World Cup were in Sharjah, where the slow, low surfaces played very much into the squad's strengths with no fewer than four frontline spinners featuring in their opening wins over Bangladesh and South Africa. They tweaked that formula a touch in their most recent match against Scotland, with Lauren Bell slotting in as an out-and-out -out seam option, but Shrubsoul is impressed with England's willingness to dispense with convention and back the options that suited their requirements. England have got to be agile, but that quartet of spinners has been working really well, she said. Lindsay Smith bowls so well in the power play. It allows Sophie Ecclestone to bowl more through the middle and at the death. But those four spinners are outstanding and a real asset to England. England's captain, Knight, is now approaching her ninth year in the role, having taken over from Charlotte Edwards in June 2016. It's a tenure that has coincided with the exponential growth of the women's game meaning she has needed to be a spokesperson off the pitch as well as a leader on it. And for the most part, Shrubsoul believes she has balanced those requirements with impressive agility. She's had to grow as women's cricket has grown, and she's been a real figure hit for that, Shrubsoul said. She speaks about the game really well and tries to push the agenda, which can be pretty time-consuming and draining at times, and she's had to work through a couple of coaches as well in that time. She seems to have really embraced the change that John Lewis has brought in. And she's someone who keeps evolving her game as well, and leading from the front in that perspective. Knight is one of two survivors from the 2017 final, the other being Nat Siverbrunt, who has developed in recent seasons into arguably the most complete batter in the women's game and one of the foremost all-rounders. She was instrumental in England's Ashes fight back with back-to-back -back centuries in the OBS while her personal ability to carry the fight on the biggest stage was shown by her heroic 
not out in the 2023 World Cup final in Christchurch. One of her biggest strengths is her calmness, Strupsol said. She's pretty unflappable. She's the sort of person you'd want in a sticky situation, especially a run chase. She thinks really clearly about what she's doing in the game, and when she's at full flow, she's pretty hard to bowl at. Thanks you for watching. Stay connected with us for more videos.